ways to keep drugs, uh, keep our uh, streets safe from drugs. And today, a Seattle City Council committee will consider the latest proposed drug law. Yeah, so this comes after the Seattle Council rejected a law signed by Governor Inslee to make open drug use and possession crimes. All right, let's check in with Dan Griffin live in Seattle with a look at this new proposal. Dan, good morning. Well, good morning to you, Bill. You know, the fentanyl crisis is only intensified in the city of Seattle, and a lot of people complain about open drug use and crime. But what's even more devastating are all the deaths. This morning, Seattle City Council's Public Safety and Human Services Committee will take a hard look at new proposed policy meant to address the problem without necessarily increasing arrests. So we know the state drug law on open drug use and possession went into effect most places, but Seattle City Council rejected it in June. So that means until something is done, Seattle isn't in line with many other areas of the state where open drug use is a and possession is a gross misdemeanor. So without a law, officers in Seattle can make arrests for open drug use or possession, but the city attorney can't prosecute. So in turn, Mayor Bruce Harrell gathered a task force to come up with a new approach that would be more along the lines of adopting the new state law, but leading with intervention and treatment instead of arrests. Here's where the conversation stood just last month. We need to speed up downtown recovery. We need people to feel safer taking transit to work. We need people to feel safer frequenting uh, local businesses. And so everything rides on on taking a more aggressive approach, a more robust approach to this fentanyl crisis that's killing people and slowing our economy. Our inability to book people into jail, I think, has exacerbated this public safety crisis in terms of fentanyl. Now, the mayor's office says this legislation means the city attorney's office can then prosecute open drug use and possession as a gross misdemeanor, but it also makes it clear that diversion is the preferred route in these cases and includes a threat of harm standard to help guide police officers in their decisions when it comes to arrests. Now, city leaders say that historically, drug use and possession laws have disproportionately affected uh, minorities and vulnerable communities, so they say this legislation is really meant to connect people with help instead of going straight to arrests, and we're going to keep you update on what happens in this meeting today. I think it's set for about 9.30 this morning. The agenda says it includes a briefing, it includes a discussion, and a possible vote. So we'll keep an eye on that. But for now, we're live downtown. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.